So exactly what is an air dribble? Air dribbles are really difficult, but essentially what they are is it's just like a regular dribble, but you're in the air. You're trying to get the ball to balance on your car while flying. Imagine a sea lion bouncing a beach ball on its nose, except with rockets. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of our trainer shots and um, we're going to cover a couple things today, just how to set up an air dribble and how to execute. We're going to look at one of these trainer shots and then kind of go over step by step what I'm doing. So here's the shot, not broken down. We're just going to take a quick look at the overview of it and then we're going to break it down here in a second. I find it easiest to start your air dribbles off the wall right past the mid 100 boost. This gives you enough time to take the ball to goal and also lets you keep the ball nice and high. Once you have taken the ball up the wall, make sure to keep the top half of your car in line with the bottom half of the ball. This will allow you, as soon as you jump, to kind of stay underneath it and control your air dribble a little bit more. After you've jumped off the wall, make sure you're making contact at about a 45 degree angle. Not directly in line with the ball, not directly underneath it, but just at about a 45 degree angle. This will help you to keep it pushing forward and a little bit up. Something that helps me is paying attention to the lights. Remember that the lights are the center of the ball. So if you can kind of just keep an eye on where those are and try to stay at that 45 degree angle, it will really help you control your air dribble a lot more. Make sure to pay attention to the lights. Once you've carried the ball far enough, stop boosting and let it kind of fall in front of your car. Once your car is aligned with the middle of the ball, start boosting and push it into the goal. So to recap. Start at the mid boost, match your speed with the ball while on the wall, stay underneath the ball, feathering your boost at about a 45 degree angle, and slowly move your car to a more aggressive angle when getting closer to the goal to finish your nice air dribble. All in all, air dribbles are one of the more difficult mechanics to learn. This actually took me a long time to get the shots that I needed, and it's actually really good practice for me. I'm actually starting to hit air dribbles a little bit more. so. Be the reminder to practice your mechanics, continue to practice, and continue to excel. I hope that this tutorial will help you practice things more. And I didn't use the trainer shots at all for this. I, this is purely just in free play, so you can practice this on any console and anything. All versions of Rocket League kept free play. Thank you guys for watching. Follow on Twitter, follow on Twitch, subscribe right here on YouTube for a new video every Monday and Thursday. Have a great rest of your day, and see you all next time.